everyone, so this is my 4th of July makeup look, get ready with me, whatever. Um, this is a full face tutorial, um, it is blues in the eyes and red lips to represent the colors of our great country, so if you enjoy this look then keep watching. I prepped with um, Anastasia's dip brow and that's going to be a separate tutorial, but for now we're starting with my MAC NC15 Pro Longwear Concealer. Um, since it's like slightly lighter than my skin tone, it provides a nice highlighting effect, and I'm just putting this in the Kim Kardashian triangle, mostly because that's what I want to conceal. Um, my under eyes and some redness around the sides of my nose. And if you hear me drinking water in the background of this track, I am sorry, my throat hurts. So now I'm going with this NYX cream blush called Glow. And I'm just putting that on with my fingers. Um, this blush can be over and applied like extremely easily. Uh, yeah, just go like that. <laughs> so we're putting this on before the foundation because the foundation will tone down any sort of harshness. And I just put that on the apples of my cheeks and sort of on the uh, upper cheekbones as well. So now we're applying the foundation. I'm using CoverGirl's Outlast 3-in-1 Stay Fabulous, and I can never remember if I'm 801 or 810, but it's called Classic Ivory. And I usually don't go in any certain order, doesn't matter, but I usually do cheeks, chin, nose, then forehead. I touched up a little bit of the cream blush because it uh, looked uneven. I was jamming super hard to Tiger's Jaw in the background of this, so excuse that if it bothers you, but actually I don't care. Just kidding. <laughs> I care if things bother you. Um, so I'm blending this out with my fingers just a little bit and then cleaning off the brush while continuing to jam. Um, I'm using a little bit of my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder to set the cream blush and using pretty much whatever is uh, left over just to set my foundation a little bit. So I'm going to start with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer, my usual and my holy grail. Um, I'm just going to spread this all over the whole of my eyelid and yeah. And after that we're going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk, the white one. And um, yeah. Mine was running pretty low, so I was trying not to stab myself in the eye, but I focused it on my eyelid and my inner corners, and uh, this really helps bring out the blues that we will be putting on. And also the inner corner, I just like a super highlighted inner corner, so yeah. So I'm going to go over the lid with Sugar Pills Eyeshadow in Taco. Um, and getting that to focus. Yeah, um, it's just a nice white, matte, opaque eyeshadow. Um, and it sort of sets a good foundation for, uh, all the other colors we're going to be using. So I'm going with Blueberry Cream from the Sigma Creme de Couture palette. And, um, I'm going to be patting this on the outer half of my eyelid, sort of applying normally but mostly patting because this is a pastel color and I want it to stick really good to the um, jumbo pencil. And I'm sort of bringing this into my crease so it helps us transition with the blue we will be using. I'm blending that just slightly. Don't want to lose too much of the color. And we're going to go in with that crease shade from the Wet n Wild Poster Child palette and blend this into our crease. Um, it's a nice bright blue, royal blue sort of deal. This palette, the pigmentation is lacking a little bit, but it's tons of fun colors for cheap if you're interested in that. And I know a lot of my viewers don't buy super high-end makeup, so you know, I like to help out. So we created almost a cut crease effect with that, and if we, um, just because you can lose some of the color, I pat a little bit of the light blue back on, and now I'm going in with Cherry Blossom from the Sigma palette again over the white half of our eyelid, just so it doesn't look so white, if that makes sense, and I'm blending that just slightly into the light blue. So, blend! We are going to 
uh, blend this out super good with circular motions, windshield wipers, all that jazz. If anyone wondered, how does Angie blend? Angie just uses a brush and sits there for like 10 minutes trying to get it to look blended. So now we're putting taco again to highlight our inner corner and up to the brow um, and under the brow bone. So I put pink eyeshadow there but I didn't like it so I'm wiping it off because it made me look sick. Um, I'm using the jumbo pencil in the inner half of my eyelid. Um, I don't, I would say use a different white eyeliner. Um, but I didn't have one because this one gets up in your eyelashes like crazy and it looks kind of funky. But I went in with the Rimmel Scandalize eyeliner on the outer half and now I'm going to be using the same uh, eyeliner on my top lid. Sorry that clip went a little fast. Um, and yeah, I like to smudge that out and just put that on just my eyelid and then I'm going in with my Urban Decay uh, Ink for Eyes eyeliner pen just to draw the wing part. is probably the best view anyone's had of my uh, winged liner. If you'd like a tutorial, definitely let me know. I'd be down. So, curling our lashes, putting on mascara. Yeah, I didn't film all of this because my phone ran out. So I did apply Hoola as a contour. Um, and now we're, I mean not my phone, my camera. So now we're going to be lining with this L'Oreal Color Riche uh, lip liner. It's just what I had laying around. I prefer Hot Red by NYX. But um, I'm going to go in with this limited edition MAC lipstick called The Glam, which is a nice um, pinky blue red, sort of similar to Ronnie Red from the Archie's Girls collection, which is something I regret not buying every day. But this beautiful lipstick makes up for it. It's that perfect matte pinup red. It was from the uh, By Request collection, and I really love it. I have a million red lipsticks, but this one is beautiful. So that is what we're doing there. And now I'm going to put my Wet n Wild to Reflect Shimmer Palette on my cheekbones, nose, um, forehead, Cupid's bow, chin, all that jazz. Just so we can look super highlighted. So I hope you enjoyed that look. You are beautiful and I appreciate you watching. Comment, like, or subscribe if you like the video.